Hey everyone, it's Scarlet at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this hot chocolate paint by line. I'm going to go in first with the color Chocolate by Dixie Belle, and I'm going to paint the hot cocoa. Now I'm going to go in with the color Dixie Belle Blue, and I'm going to paint my cup. All the colors I'll be using today are Dixie Belle chalk paint, and if you guys would like to learn more about those, you can purchase them on our website, buildacross.com, as well as this cutout you see here. This is a paint by line product, which means that all the lines you see here are etched into the cutout by our machine, so you don't have to worry about freehanding anything. This really takes a lot of the guesswork out. And after I go in with that blue, I'm going to go in with the color putty, and I'm going to paint my little um, sleeve that goes around the cup. And then after that, I'm going to go in and paint my whipped cream on the top of the jug. And I'm going to paint my whipped cream in the color uh, buttercream versus just a standard white. I wanted it to kind of be a more creamy white. And now I'm going in with the color cotton, which is Dixie Belle's whitest white. And I'm going to paint every other um, line on these peppermint sticks. And then I'm going to go in with the color honky tonk red. And I'm going to finish out the peppermint sticks. And then after I'm done with this red, my product will be completely base coated. So I'm going to give it plenty of time to dry before moving on to my next step. My next step will be to go in with a Sharpie brush stroke marker and we purchased these on Amazon and they are perfect for outlining. So I'm just going to follow the lines that are etched into the cutout for me by the machine. I'm not freehanding any of these lines and this marker makes it super easy. But of course, if you prefer a paintbrush, I would recommend a number zero round and some watered down black paint and that will work as well. I'm also going to be using this marker to go in and do some lettering on the sleeve. I'm just going to do old fashioned cocoa um, and do a little 25 cents in the corner. And of course, if you don't feel comfortable going in and doing hand lettering, you could go in and add vinyl. Just make sure your product is completely dry before doing that. Now I'm going to go in with the color cotton, which is Dixie Belle's whitest white, and I'm going to highlight everything just following the curves of the painting to keep it a uniformed look. This just kind of brightens everything up, and then I'm going to go in with the color Savannah Mist and highlight everything that is white. And then after this step, you guys, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and make sure to have a wonderful day.